Hello there, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to solve a simple snail problem. I picked this problem from Code Wars and I will leave a link to this problem in the description section below so that you can check it out. So here is the problem statement. Given an n by n array, return the array elements arranged from outermost elements to the middle element traveling clockwise. So here is an example. As you can see we have n by n matrix, I mean 3 by 3 matrix and we have to traverse uh clockwise and return an 1d array okay as you can see in the images as well how do we how we have to traverse through the 2d array we have two approaches to solve this problem the first approach is a little bit easier and simpler but not efficient so let's take a look so you might find it very easy to implement but it is not efficient at all if you are using python then python by default uses list which by default provide every functionality um, like removing elements or adding elements in a list okay but it's not case with other languages like c++ and java so what we will do we will remove element on the go okay we add the element in resultant array and then remove it from the original matrix okay so for an example we add our first row in the resultant array and then remove it from the matrix now we will add every element every last element of every row and delete it from every row okay after adding now we will remove our last row and then first element of every row uh, by adding to resultant matrix then here as you can see we have sort of problem of original one okay and we will do this process until we have any element in our original matrix and we will end this process when we have no element left in our original matrix okay but this is not efficient so let's look at our second approach so in the second approach we have again six by six matrix but we will use pointers or variables uh, to you know locate where we have to traverse so here as you can see we have four pointers R S R E S C and S C, which is row start row end colon start end colon end. You can do this problem by two variables as well, uh, but I'm using four because of simplicity, so that you can easily understand what I'm doing here. Okay. Now we will traverse from row start to row end, and we will increment all colon start variable by one, so that we don't include this last element two times. Okay. So what we will do now, we will traverse from colon start to colon end and decrement our row end variable. And then we traverse from row end to row start and decrement our colon end variable and then colon end to colon start and decrement our row start variable. Now if you see carefully, this is like initial problem. Okay, so if we relocate this pointer, so as you can see now the 1414 is the position which is pointing to the location of 2d array and we just added all these elements in this order in our resultant array and we will do this process n by two times because in one loop we are traversing uh, two rows and two columns okay and we will do this process n by two times okay so here is the problem in my web browser so let's try to code this okay so according to our approach we will loop this through n by 2 times in this case if we use 3 by 3 matrix then 3 by 2 is 1 so we will only traverse one time which will left this middle element but in 4 by 4 matrix it's not the case so 4 by 2 is 2 and we will use this one time and then 2 which will do our job so if we have 7 by 7 or 9 by 9 if we have odd elements in the matrix then we will left or middle element okay so we have to take care of that case as well so now let's try to code so now let's create a result array now let's handle the base case element has nothing then we will just return our first array we will insert elements in E position, okay, in result. So now let's create our pointers.
So this for loop will loop through all the elements. Now let's handle the even number matrix. So as you can see, this is the code. So we successfully completed our challenge and uh, I hope you like this video. If you like this video then give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe and share this video with your friends so that they can also solve this problem. And see you guys in the next video.